What is going on? I'm Zedmot. Today is going to be some warship stuff, but I'm going to use that as a terrible, terrible segue into some more war stuff. Supercell has decided that they are going to remove their games from the App Store in Russia and Belarus, and they're also going to suspend players with the next client update. So if you're in those locations, I guess uh, you're looking at a VPN or something like that. I just wanted to make sure that that's very, very obvious and well known and that I spread that to all of the Boom Beach players because I suppose some innocent people are going to get kicked out of their Boom Beach accounts due to terrible decisions by world leaders and anyways avoiding the political mess we're going to jump into warships this is my five engine room base and as you can see five engine rooms everyone got bombardiers and I started to lose in a big big way so the smart thing to do right now is to Go way over here and unlock one more engine room. Six engine rooms better than five, right? So we are going to go like this, collect all our buildings, and then I'm going to be jumping on forward in the six engine room. Now, my other account is nearing to Seekers, so do stick around. Do consider subscribing for that. Uh, there's a bunch of choices at this six engine room level, whether you go get building damage or you go over and get a prototype or more likely you go back and get rocket launchers. I feel like rocket launchers are suddenly going to start to be relevant, but there's also heavy choppers and rocket choppers on the horizon. So if you're on the offensive side of the game, maybe that's the route you go. But for now, we're going to build this base. I will pause about here because you really, really, really don't want to watch me try and find where all of these mines and buildings go. I will unpause at some various spots along the way and hopefully give you some crafty, brilliant insights. First thing to note that most of the layouts I've seen have all of their engine rooms against that back, back wall. So you need to spread your troops out a little bit and then people use all of their defenses to lead your troops away from some of the engine rooms. Kind of like at the two engine room level where they assume people don't have flares. So a little bit interesting. Thought I would make a note of that. Not Definitely not the brilliant commentary I thought I was going to be bringing though. All of the buildings placed, and as you can see here, like this gap on that left-hand side, all of these buildings are going to draw the troops over towards here. These ones doing the same thing, so you're going to end up with that back right engine room being left as the troops move towards the left, and this back left engine room being ignored as the troops go towards that middle. So likely going to be sending a flare into about here. So the obvious thing to do is throw some mines into that area, which is exactly what we're going to do right about now. And there she is, all of the mines. Now, one more time, I am copying this base from Policino, uh, 95 right there. Now, you'll see that his base, if you jump into there, has already morphed. Going back, getting the rocket launchers, only level 14 rocket launcher launchers, though. And then the Doom Cannon, so uh, not sure which order is the right order for that quite yet, but for right now, let's get into some attacks and see how poorly we can mess this up. Now, clearly, if I had heavies, things would be going far, far better, but we're going to aim to do something like this for now. Actually, let's just jump back before we get into that need to look at how much health those have. 50,000 health per engine room. If you have maxed your artillery, that's going to be 8 artillery for one engine room, which is 80 gunboat energy, 8 zero gunboat energy. So my gunboat energy is maxed there, not maxed here. 3 million tokens. Probably want to save those because the rocket launchers, I mean, the fact that we can get the Doom Cannon here means zero tokens spent there, but the rocket launchers are not cheap, so... Going to hold off on upgrading that gunboat energy at the moment, but that's going to be one of the first things I want to look at doing after rocket launch. I feel like rocket launchers are first because that's going to give us at least three defenses, whereas Doom Cannon's only going to give us one spinning, spinning, spinning. The longer this spins, the better. Lots of people still at five engine rooms, and sure enough, look at this. We get a five engine room base. That is going to be fantastic for us, assuming we can stay alive. I'm, again... You know me, I'm going to go slow and steady. We've got the slight, slight, slight advantage. Might as well take advantage of it. Sorry, that was sounded sort of awkward. Um, 
One, two, we're gonna go something over here. One, two, and then three. And then I'm gonna throw a shock about there. Just trying to get all of my troops up to the front, hoping that Brick doesn't get shot in the face. And then just cruising up this left-hand side slowly, but oh so surely. Managed to get through a couple of their boom cannons. Also gonna get rid of that their shock blaster and now we're pretty much in the clear i think our left hand side dudes looking pretty darn good i am gonna go like this one two three four i think it's seven for these ones it's been a while since i've attacked a five it's been a while since i've done anything boom beach related to be completely honest but now just need to get over into here i thought it was i think i must have missed an artillery or i've totally gaffed on something okay opponent has retreated see that is why we have gone up to the six engine room level because uh, opponents are starting to catch up so if you're at the five and you're thinking about going to six you will beat fives just have to be a little bit cautious. Like I said, we're not going fast on purpose because there is no advantage to doing so when you have the engine room advantage. Look at this, just absolutely, whoa, sorry, low, low, insanely low health, but picking up the win strictly by having more engine rooms. So that tends to be the case. I hang on a little bit too long, start to lose, and then realize, you know what? I have done a stupid, stupid thing. So let's just see here in this gold chest. Sad, sad moment to be getting gold chests again. We're going to have enough keys to get those rocket launchers. And those rocket launchers will hopefully propel us back into diamond. That Policino was in gold as well. I should have been able to get these chests 16 hours ago, should have made these changes, but uh, it was late last night and uh, late. It was like 4 p.m. onwards that I should have gotten this stuff done, but did not do so. Another five engine room player. I am simply going to artillery that middle engine room and we're going to send our troops along that left hand side to start with one, two like that. And then we'll drop our troops Sorry, right. I always get my lefts and rights confused for some silly, silly reason when it comes to warships. Going to get rid of that flamethrower, and then I'll send my troops over to that far right-hand wall about there. That should, in theory, get all of those right-hand side engine rooms. And then as that flare starts to expire, we'll send some more troops along on that left-hand side. So again, not rushing, just taking things super duper calmly as that flare's about to expire. We're gonna drop our tank there, our dudes there, and then all of this stuff over into here. So hoping that we can get that engine room down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's seven. I feel like I totally messed up on that last attack. There we go. So now we've got that one bombardier hiding in the corner away from the things and now should be able to just let that puppy... There we go. You're going to just pick that thing off and then we'll cruise on over into this left-hand side about now. Come on. Oh, it actually did not... It managed to put itself into harm's way, but again, not a big deal because we've got all of our tanks coming out in front. We've got one more artillery. Not an awesome attack under any stretch of the imagination, but we're cruising in and we're going to end up getting this puppy down in about the next few seconds. Probably should have flared that final, final shock blaster, but we can just throw our artillery across the way and down goes that left-hand side engine room. Two minutes, 22 seconds is not fast. My five engine room attacks are not something you should be copying whatsoever. Awful, awful, awful. But the fact that we can move on up with awful attacks is fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic by four seconds only. That was Brick's cluster grenade taking down that final engine room. So nice to see that cluster grenade still in the mix at the six engine room level just the fact that you can just spam click that button making a big big difference there so should i have collected that chest probably not because we keep getting lower engine room players but those are the risks you take i am going to end this video right here just know that i am 99 percent likely going to come back with rocket launchers please do hit me up in the comments let me know if you think that's the right call or not or if you feel like going to that doom cannon is going to be better off i'm going to go for three and or four rocket launchers don't know off the top of my head how many keys it is to max them but the fact that i've got 
five million or so gives me good hope that I can get awfully, awfully close. That is all for today. As per usual, trying to stay ahead of the curve, people are coming. I have slightly more tech than many, many players and need to do a little bit of a mini push right about now to stay ahead, get back into Diamond. Anyways, that is all for me. As per always, thanks for those of you who build the bases. Um, thanks also for your patience with like the whole war, Russia. Um, I'm trying to st not talk about it and it makes me uncomfortable. So um, I know there are good people all over the world. And so if you're in one of those uh, other countries, sorry if I misspoke or said something that was less than ideal. So anyways, that is all for me. I am Zedmont. Thanks for coming in. Peace.